Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now it's time for us to look at highlights where we extract some of the biggest stories making the rounds on the news. Now we're starting off with the war of words between the All Progressives Congress presidential candidate as well as the P People's Democratic Party presidential candidate, that is Chong Wolu and Jimmy Agbaje. And this war of words continued uh, with the flag bearers promise promising to retire his rival after the March 2nd election. So Olu said he was proud of being called a puppet of the national leader of the party, Wala Tinumbu, adding that it meant that he had mastered the art and science of governance. He spoke while reacting to a statement by Agbaje in which the latter described him as a puppet. The APC candidate and a statement by Agbaje in which um, he, in which the latter, I beg your pardon. This, the ABC candidate in a statement by his media team said he sympathized with Agbaje over the imminent disgraceful defeat awaiting him at the March 2nd poll and consequent retirement from four electoral years cycle contest. What do you make of the story, TJ? <clears throat> I'm sure you meant a gubernatorial candidate, not a presidential yes, candidate. Like yeah, you, I beg your pardon. Like you said, it's a two-way thing. I want to look at it squarely from two angles. Um, calling him a puppet and uh, him coming out to say, yes, he is one and is proud to be one. Number one, you can't call him a puppet because I feel he's somebody that has been in into politics, Lagos State politics since 2003. Uh, he was a special assistant to Femi Pedro in 2003. Uh, he worked as a commissioner with uh, the, the governor Tinumbu. Then he worked with uh, Governor Fashola. Then he worked with Ambode. So you can't call him a puppet. Is they he? abused him for some of the work he did before. They said he spent 50% of the state's budget on education, leaving other areas of existence out of, of, of the equation. Mm, I feel that's another topic entirely. Why you can't call him a puppet is because he's been into this thing for a while. And this is somebody that is well-read. He's, uh, he's an intellectual. You know, he has degrees from in Nigeria, the best school in the UK, in US. He's well-read, so he's not a puppet. But you're not coming out to say you accept to be a puppet to somebody as big as Balati Numbu. I feel it's a slap on his face with due respect. I okay. feel he should not have made such statement. You're expecting him to be, you want to be the governor of Lagos State, the fifth uh, largest the economy in West Africa or in Africa at large, and you're accepting such. We understand politically you feel, okay, it's big enough to be somebody that controls you, but don't come out to say that. It's as if you're shooting yourself in the leg outrightly, and there are words you shouldn't say if you want to be governor of Lagos State, because such words could mean you're going to lose votes at the long run. People are already having that idea that uh, Lagos is controlled by one person, uh, you know, People have that in their head already. So you coming out to say that is that as if you are stamping that fact that you're going to be controlled as a governor. Well, Nobody do. wants to hear that. They do mm. have that idea. Yeah, a mm. lot of people have that idea uh, in their head. one person, if I may ask? What do you say? Uh, nothing. I say some persons have that idea <laughs> in their head. These, these are, these are Shaking rumors Shaking tables. I do not want to listen to this. I'm not going to get uh, into trouble because of both of you. These are out there now. No more. <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.